actually get away from it. Now the next thing we should probably get rid of is we're being multiplied by the cosine A. So what's being multiplied by the cosine A? Negative 2 BC. This will start off as A over sine A equals B over sine B equals C over sine C. Attention. Whenever you have a triangle and you have the angles, the angles are always in capital letters. The corresponding letter that's lowercase is the exact opposite side of the big letter. So I have A over here, so side A would actually be right there. Capital B is on the top, so 
on the bottom would be side B. And this one's hard to tell if it's a capital letter or a lowercase letter, but C and C. Okay, you guys understand that? Yeah. Or, depending on what we're looking for, it may be easier to set this up this way. All I'm doing is inverting every fraction. Again, if it was me, this would be the only thing I've been writing on this side of the note card so I can find it easy, quick, and not have to look through a bunch of small stuff. Okay, A squared equals B squared plus 
theory of how to do this. I don't expect you to fully understand what they're saying. You may kind of, kind of maybe think in some relation, but I don't expect you to really understand it. Let me just give an example. What does that mean by if I have two of the same letter and one other letter? So if you have like your capital two A and then your A. So like if you have the A angle and then the A side. Yeah, I know that. Like so if you can make yeah, one whole I need, fraction. I need one person to make it. I, got I can't I got have everyone. Okay, so you have your A and then your A, and then you have your B. Can I go? Oh, yes. That's okay. Just one B. Okay. Who's not done yet? Clearly the guy. Okay. Okay, three lines. That means I'm going to be doing an example. set this up. First thing I ask for is are all three sides and angles. So I always just write my alphabet right here. Because that's what they want. 
angle A, B, and C, and little a, little b, and little c. Yes? Can anybody identify any of the letters just from that drawing? Sean? I got lowercase c is 5. And lowercase a is 11. And lowercase a is 11. Now, I'm looking at this, and you can see it really easy in the columns. So I got two c's, correct? Mm -hmm. yep. And then I have a third number. Doesn't matter what it is. Yes, it's 12. But what can I find with this third number? I got this matching. I got the third. That means we're going to use. We're going to use the law of sine to find A, because A is next to that. So, I don't want to blow your mind too much, but I'm going to use this formula here. Sine A over 11 equals sine C over 5. Can any of you tell me why I chose to use this with the sign on top instead of where the numbers are on the top and the signs on the bottom? Can anybody tell me why I thought of doing it that way, Carson? Okay, there's a good one. So you just have to multiply 11 times and it's fine. Okay, by using this, A is already in the top. If I use the other one, it's going to be down there. I'm going to do some cross multiplying. It's just a little bit cleaner for me. All right, how do we solve this? Only one half, right? We only have to cross multiply this piece, right? Why? Why? I can't use and then you could divide. Sine A five. equals 11 sine 20 over 5. Why? Whoa, whoa, whoa. If you cross multiply, you would have had 5 sine A, right? Yeah. Right, Genesis? Yeah. Then you have to divide the 5 wow. over and put it right back where it came from. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. So, first of all, I'm going to need two people. I'm going to need someone to calculate this, and I'm going to need someone to confirm the correct. But, Yesterday on the test, I was doing a lot of correcting and things with people. What's my angle measured in? Degrees. So whatever device you're calculating with, make sure it's set in. Degrees. Degrees. Thank you. Can someone please calculate? 11 sine 20 over 5.
Still gonna pop it out. And I got about 13.7. Yep. 13.6, that's fine, that's just a rounding difference. Wait, so you just cross multiply like I just did five times the sign of 111.2 divided by the sign of 20. Who did? Can I say it? No. Yeah. Oh, wow. 
Well, I guess no, to give everyone a chance to find it. And, uh, okay. at all, I just break the whole thing together. That's how I got 48. But what did it ask for? Square root of it. So, some of you guys are going to get so good at this. but I'm going to do my best. There's my triangle right over there. Make sure the sides correspond when you do it.
sign only. You're not going to have to deal with law of cosine. Now, in the trig book, they always pair problems that are almost the exact same next to each other. So problem number 19 and 20 should look almost the exact same, just a little bit different number. And number 19, you can go to the back of the book and check your answer. So if you check your do number 19, you can get it right because you checked it. Then you should have some confidence to get number 20 by yourself. If I just gave you the odds, then you would look up the answers for every single one of them. For some people, it did not do the work. If I just gave you the evens, there's no way for you to test yourself. So I always go two on, two off. So 19, 20, 19, you get the answer, 20, you won't. But we'll skip 21 and 22, and then we'll do 23 and 24, where one of them you can get the answer, make sure you're on the right track. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. So that's why I do two on, two off instead of odds or evens. Wait, but then you wouldn't end up doing a lot of talk. This, doing it for those comma, these oh. are two on, two off. Oh. 19 through 32 are two on, two off only. Oh. 494, you get law of cosine in there, and then you can continue using law of cosine, or you can switch it to law of sine to find the other sides.
bigger though because when we add them all together, yeah, they get less money. Check my work again. It's kind of weird. Let's just let's walk through this. So I put sine 55 by 6.9 equals sine c over 5. Yep. Yeah. Multiplied by 5 sine 50 divided by sine 550. Wait, 5 sine 50 equals 6.9 sine c. Oh, well, I didn't have to do that, but then divide by 5 c. And then you would get sine c equals 5 sine 50 divided by 6.9. Sure. Yeah, okay. And then I solved that. Yeah. I still got 42. I knew I was going to do it. So we have to do that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They, they didn't. They didn't. 